Hello everyone, today a little uh, Christmas present. Uh, I wanted to make a longer video, but uh, I didn't just didn't have enough time. So this will be a very quick one, where we quickly show you how you can convert an IDL and then use it in Unity. And later I'm gonna make a, a longer video where I explain it um, step by step. So we're gonna uh, start with the Tiny Adventure 2 tutorial from the Anchor Playground that I uploaded there. And then you can find here under the build and deploy, you find your IDL and then you can export this IDL. And the IDL is just a representation of your pro program. And here you can see all the functions and the parameter and the accounts and so on. And there's this amazing tool online that uh, BM Research built for um, Solnet Anchor which is converting an IDL into C-sharp code. And then the guys from Garbage Labs came in and Gabriele and he uh, converted it so that it also works with Unity. And so we're gonna use this tool to convert our IDL into C-sharp. So what we need to do for that is we need to install the tool. So um, I did this earlier already, but I can just type it again. .NET tool install Solana Unity anchor tool minus minus global. Um, then the tool is installed and then we just use the IDL that we just downloaded from our downloads folder. Um, yeah, I did this earlier already, but I'm just gonna delete this, delete this. And now all we need to run is .NET anchor gen minus I for input, um, then the JSON file and minus O for the output. So I just gonna write that dot net anchor gen minus i idl dot json and minus o tiny adventure 2 dot cs so now we uh, generated this file and now uh, we're gonna put this in unity so um, I, I checked out the um, repository, the Solplay Unity SDK, but um, you can also just create a new project and put in the, the Garbles SDK, for example. They are pretty much compatible, compatible. And here in examples, I now create a new folder. Um, I call, call it Tiny Adventure 2. So if you want to, um, you can already look at the Tiny Adventure 1 tutorial. The source code is already here. And now in this folder, I'm going to put the uh, generated C Sharp file. And then we go into the code. Oh, and now I already have the first problem because the, uh, the project that from Tiny Adventure has the same name as Tiny Adventure 2. So I get some errors here. So what I'm going to do is I change the name of the Tiny Adventure 2 tutorial to Tiny Adventure 2 and then export the IDL again and run the anchor gen again and then I shouldn't have problems anymore. I also had to build it again so that the IDL is regenerated. So now I'm going to export it again and delete these two. Call this one IDL so I can just run the command again. Now I have the correct one and I can just copy it into Unity and I can delete this one and now it should compile. Yeah, now we have this file, the tiny adventure, uh, adventure 2 program. And on this one we can now call the same functions as we did in the anchor example in JavaScript. So for example, if we uh, call move right, we need the move right accounts. So we just call this accounts and we need the program ID and the program ID, we will just hard, hard code here. Um, private data or private string program ID. And that one we just copy from anchor. So it's this one from the playground. And um, here we put in the program ID. I think it needs to be a public key. Public key. So we just make it a new public key. Put this in. And the accounts will be, um, we just auto generate, move right accounts. So then we create a new instance of that. And then we say accounts.signer will be something. Then accounts chest vault it's the pda that we need to generate so that we can for example look here in the client again how this was done 
So we can see it's a PDA and it needs chest vault and program ID. So that we can already put here somewhere. And for the signer, we will need the, um, the wallet. So we get it from the service factory resolve wallet holder service dot base wallet, for example, will be the base wallet. And from the base wallet, the signer will be the account dot public key. For the chest vault, we need to um, find this account that I gonna copy from the tiny adventure service. Um, it's just public key, try find program address with the program ID and the bytes of the seed. Um, so I'm just gonna copy this over here and we know it won't be level one, but in this case, it will be the chest vault. So chest vault lowercase actually. And then this will be a public key that comes out, comes out here. So that's we put for the chest vault. And then for the system program, we just take system program dot program key. And the last one will be the game account data. And this is also a PDA again. Um, this needs to also be a public key. And the game data account will be the same thing, but the game data will be level one, I think, we put into the program, yes. And this will be the game data account. And this is uh, just bump two. So, yeah, and now we already have our first instruction ready. So, um, this one we can now send off. Um, this one is chest board. Yeah, um, I'm gonna make a more detailed tutorial where I explain the whole thing, how you build the UI and how you um, call the service. So for example, I would have the whole data in the service and then the UI just calls certain functions on the service and the service also will subscribe to the account data via a socket. That's what I do here. Just call the socket server, subscribe to PubKey, and then we get the data pushed whenever it changes. So as soon as someone moves uh, in the game, the data will be pushed via socket to the client. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make a more detailed tutorial on this later, but um, what you can do is already, you can already try out to replicate the same thing for the Tiny Adventure 2 by looking at the code for Tiny Adventure 1, for example. And yeah, the next tutorial will uh, hopefully come soon. Maybe not this year anymore, but then probably latest uh, first week of the next um, of the next year. Okay, sorry, this is so rushed, but I, uh, I'm going to drive home uh, in a few hours for Christmas. And I just wanted to get a quick video out because there were so many people asking me already if I uh, how to put the anchor stuff into Unity. And uh, yeah, maybe if you look at the code, you can already figure a few things out until I make the next tutorial. But basically what you can do now is you can get the data and you can uh, move left and right um, in the tiny adventure. And we're going to build the same thing then live for the tiny adventure too uh, next year. <laughs> okay, have a nice Christmas and, uh, uh, and a nice new year, everyone. Bye bye. And subscribe to the channel.